So in this assignment, you've been asked to write one of the classes that would be needed to implement the game Dots and Boxes. Dots and Boxes is a traditional pencil and paper game for two players. And in it, we have a grid of dots. And here I've drawn a four by three grid of dots, but you'll be writing your class to support any size of grid. And between these, do these dots, we can draw lines. And the way the game works is that each player takes turns drawing a line. And if a player draws the last line of a box, if they complete a box, they get to claim that box and have another turn. So let's see what the beginning of a game might look like. So let's say that our players are red and green and it starts off and it's the red player's turn. And perhaps that player draws this line. But that's not completed a box, so it becomes the green player's turn. And perhaps that player draws this line. But that's not completed a box, and so it becomes the red player's turn again. And maybe next the red player draws this line. But that's not completed a box, and it becomes the green player's turn. And then the green player draws this line here, and that has completed a box. And so the green player gets to claim that box and has another turn. And maybe they draw this line. But that's not completed a box, and so it becomes the red player's turn again, and so on. And so the idea is, is to try to claim more boxes than your opponent. So you're going to be writing a class that's going to help in writing this game. But you're not going to be writing the whole thing, you're not going to be doing the user interface, you're just going to be doing the class that represents the game board, the grid of n by n dots and the lines between them, the horizontal lines and the vertical lines, whether they've been drawn or not, and the boxes, and whether either player has claimed each box. So one of the things I've suggested is that we decide on a coordinate system. And so if this is an n by n grid, and so this is a 4 by 3 grid of dots, and I've suggested that you might want to number the lines and the boxes and the dots uh, sorry, the lines, the horizontal lines, the boxes, and the vertical lines by the dot in the top left corner. So if we go across and we set our coordinates as this one here is 0, 0, and we use the first index is the horizontal index, so this is 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, and on the next line, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1. Then this line here, this is the horizontal line 0, 0. This one here is the horizontal line 1, 1. This one here is the horizontal line 2, 2, because the horizontal lines are numbered by the dot at the left of the horizontal line. The vertical lines are numbered by the dot at the top of the vertical line. So this is the vertical line 0, 0, and this is the vertical line 2, 1. And the boxes are numbered by the dot in the top left corner. So this box here, this is 1, 0. This box here is 2, 1. So that might help you to keep track of which box is surrounded by which lines. How many of each other? Well, if we look at the horizontal lines, this is a 4 by 3 grid of dots. But if we look at the horizontal lines, there's 1, 2, 3 across by 1, 2, 3 down. So in a 4 by 3 grid of dots, there's 3 by 3 horizontal lines. Vertical lines, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 across, but only 2 down. So in a 4 by 3 grid of dots, there's 4 by 2 vertical lines. And boxes, 1, 2, 3 across, 1, 2 down. So in a 4 by 3 grid of dots, there's 3 by 2 boxes. How might you want to represent those? Well, one of the easy ways I suggest of representing them is to use a two-dimensional array for your data for each of the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, and the boxes. And in Java, that's represented as an array of arrays. So if I declare int brackets 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 a is a new int brackets 2 brackets 5, then what I get is a an array which has two cells in it, each of which is an array of ints. So 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the indexing starts at 0, of course, so 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So if I was to then say a of 1 of 2 is 3, a of 1, 0, 1, 
of 2, 0, 1, 2. That would set this to 3. So with that in mind, you're now going to need to decide how to represent the data inside your uh, DAB field class that is going to represent this game board. And you're going to need to do various methods that allow the players to draw lines. Now remembering that you are not doing the user interface, so you're not drawing those lines on the screen, you're just remembering that a player has drawn the line once they've said they've drawn it. And when a line is drawn, you're going to care about which boxes are claimed. So for instance, if I was to draw this line here, have I claimed this box? Have I claimed this box? And you're going to need to write tests for that to show that your functionality that you've implemented is working. So here's a game partway through, and you might want to care about particular things, about you know its behavior if you try and draw some of the other lines, its behavior if you try and complete a box. But you're also going to care about some of the other cases. Um, what happens if I try and draw this line again? What happens if I try and draw the line, the horizontal line, 3, 1, which would be here? What happens if I try and draw the vertical line, 3, 2, which would be here? So there's going to be various cases that you're going to care about writing tests for. And uh, so your assignment is to write the class that represents this game board and unit tests for that class.